So setting up Okta with Dashlane it can, is pretty easy, but it can be a little misleading. So let's go through it. So you click Create App Integration, SAML 2. And so we're going to call this Dashlane 2 since we already have Dashlane in there. So we upload a picture, Dashlane. Hit Apply. Do not display for now. So what you do is you pop over to Dashlane in the single sign-on section, you're going to grab your entity ID and then your single sign-on URL, otherwise known as your ACS, your consumer service. So you grab those, you can leave pretty much everything else the same. Hit next, hit the, so we create it, right? So we've got this portion of things done. This is basically single sign-on is almost done. And the other thing you'll do is you'll set up skim. And so you do is you, all you're going to do is this, you're going to click this button to enable skim, which will add that provisioning section. What you want, what you do want to make sure you do is go in here into edit. And so now we go over to directory sync, skim provisioning settings, hit edit. And so you see here, you'll have an API, you're going to have a skim API token, which after you go HTTP header, you're going to pop that token in there. You know, we'll check all the boxes. Your base URL, as you can see, is right there. And then under the unique identifier field. And so from here, you'll just click save. Now let's pounce over to the one we already have set up. We didn't actually import groups, which is fine. So the, the key to this will be is in assignments, you'll assign out the groups that you want to use. So you can see like IT admins, last best users we're using. And then the other portion of this is you can create push groups. And the idea is, is that you type in a group. So just for fun, we're going to pick last pass users and see, it's going to say it didn't find a group. Do you want it to create a group or do you want it to link to some existing group? So all you do is you hit save. I'll delete this after, but you'll see here it says pushing and then eventually it's going to say active. And then what you can actually do is you can actually unlink the push group and have it delete it. That's good to know in case you don't want them in the future. Um, and then once it's done, all you literally have to do is just do a real base, do basic, run the basic imports you would in Okta to pull all your users in. And the thing to keep in mind with groups in Dashlane versus other products is that when you add someone to a group, they have to actually, actually accept, a, accept a sharing invite they're going to get. And that's it. And it's just that simple.